Most politicians want a little bit of face time in their campaign commercials. But Senator Norm Coleman has run into trouble for not showing enough of his face. Tom Lydon has the story tonight. Has Mr. Franken governed anything? Nothing. Senator Norm Coleman's latest attack ads yeah, got a problem. It's not the message, it's the written. disclaimer. I'm Norm Coleman, and I approve this message. The senator's face is up for only 2.9 seconds. But under federal election law, if the opponent is directly referenced, like Franken is, the candidate paying for the ad needs a clearly identifiable photo on the screen for no less than four seconds. It was relatively clear right away that this was a violation. Aaron Landry of Men Publius is the liberal blogger who discovered the 1.1 second shortfall. He says the law is designed to make sure candidates stand by their ads. It's important when you're attacking an opponent that you should that your face is on for four seconds so the viewer has a clear understanding of who is attacking. Senator Coleman today described it all as election law fine print. The nitty gritty of politics was, you know, somebody says, oh, look, we, you know, it should have been four seconds instead of 2.5, but uh, the law is, it's, the intent is pretty clear, and so I don't, I think that's a non issue. We're not Are you going to change the commercial at all? Uh, I think we already have. Even Al Franken seemed to be cutting Coleman some slack. And the law is that you do it for four seconds, and I think they, they, they goofed. Up and it's important, yeah, and there's a sanction to it. And that's where it gets interesting. Television stations give campaign commercials a discount rate. If the FCC sanctions the Coleman campaign, it could end up paying 30 to 40 percent more for its commercials for the remainder of the season. The liberal blogger believes that one second mistake could cost the campaign more than a million. And the fact is that they broke the law and they're trying to weasel themselves away from it. Attorneys for the Franken campaign have now sent out this letter to local TV stations asking them to stop giving the Coleman campaign the discounted rate. Because these cases are extremely rare, local TV stations are looking for guidance from the FCC. The Federal Communications Commission did not return our call seeking comment. Tom Lydon, Fox 9 News. And once again, the Coleman campaign claims it has re-edited a commercial extending his picture now to the full four seconds.